welcome to the International Adoption Workshop sponsored by the Infertility and Adoption Counseling Center. I want to suggest a mindset for you to, to be listening with. I think as you listen today, try to think like a child, like children and what children might be thinking. How would your child experience the change from orphanage or foster care to home life? Because you as potential parents or as adoptive parents have the luxury of learning about adoption. You get to think about the issues, you get to attend workshops, you get to read books, you get to talk to professionals, and you have time to do this. In fact, if you're waiting to adopt, you have too much time to do this. But the children, in most instances, are not prepared at all for the changes that they will experience. And even though we know that the change from an orphanage or foster care is for a better life, still to the child the change is unexpected, abrupt, and radical on every level. And the change needs to be handled with great awareness and sensitivity to this factor to help the child with transition and to build positive emotional development. If the child has attached to a particular caregiver or a set of caregivers or even a negative institutional routine, the child will experience some confusion in addition to some loss and some grief. So by the time you meet your child, you're, you're excited. And especially um, if you've seen a picture or a video, you have a lot of dreams, you have a lot of expectations. You may even have from the pictures or video some developed fantasy or idea of what the child will be like. And all that I'm suggesting is to temper these feelings with respect and patience for how the child is experiencing this enormous change for the child. In our pre-adopt groups at the Counseling Center, we give people a chance to talk about how they feel as expectant parents and how to handle the emotions and details of this transition. The services I provide are those of, um, of a pediatrician. I am a general pediatrician and I'm an infectious diseases specialist and actually have sort of reinvented myself so that I'm really very much a developmental and behavioral pediatrician. Why I say the health issues are not as critical to me is because what I've learned is that we take care of those issues. We take care of them quickly. And we move on to what are the most important issues. And that is how a child adapts to a family. How a child learns intimacy skills. How a child learns how to connect socially in the world learns about a new civilization. Because what I'm going to construct for you to start with is that an orphanage is a civilization, if you will. It's a society. Like a kibbutz, you know? It's a society in and of itself. It has a social structure. And beings living in a social structure, whether they be human or animal, learn the rules of that social structure. And they learn it well because all beings are focused on survival. And what I'll talk about is the society that they live in, children live in, in institutions, how it differs from foster care, and then we'll move on to that, from that and talk about how children make adaptations, whether they're adopted as infants or older children, how those adaptations are made, and what kinds of issues you'll deal with on a daily basis in your homes, which involves behavior around eating, sleeping, interaction and play, attachment, and then finally, the school becomes the really the most important focus in my work is how kids do in school, which really is what it is to be a pediatrician. All I care about, personally, everyone gets their shots in my practice. Everyone's healthy except for the usual snotty noses and this and that that happen. But the bulk of my work with parents is about how to help children be successful in their world. What is their world? It is a social world. It is a world about learning. And it is a world that really is focused on how the brain that came from what I'll construct for you right now has been able to adapt itself to handle the challenges that come in school. 
And that's really true of all children, right? My work as a pediatrician is to help kids handle the challenges of learning. 